hello so it's my birthday eve i've just filmed doing my makeup and everything and then i decided i hate the video when i kind of spoke you know like a load of nonsense like, there was nothing to it so i've showered and everything and i've got a school trip tonight so that's a great little birthday present <laughs> I've got to go to the theatre and watch a, it's called Serial Killer Next Door. So that's fun. And um, yes, yeah, so my birthday's tomorrow, Wednesday. This will probably go up tomorrow if I'm lucky. But yeah, I've just posted a vlog on my pre-birthday weekend. Nothing special to it. No birthday celebrations to it either. Just a pre-birthday weekend. Um, there was a sociology trip yesterday that I didn't go to because I just thought, one, I've got, I'd have to go all the way to London, and two, it's just like I've got a trip today, and then I've got my birthday. I just don't want so much happening in a week. Too many plans stresses me out. <laughs> I'm, I'm much more happy having no plans than loads of plans. I just need to eat my spaghetti hoops on toast. I've got that for dinner. I'm fucking excited. It's one of my favourite meals. It's like childhood meals, anything with spaghetti hoops, maybe nuggets, smiley faces, waffles, anything like that, I'm obsessed with. <laughs> I don't know how I feel. I feel like there's such an expectation to be so happy and like excited on your birthday, especially milestone birthdays like 18th. But I feel like it's kind of underwhelming. Like I don't feel pre-birthday. I don't feel excited i don't feel like you know like how about like it's like christmas eve excitement i feel like my christmas eve excitement is up here where my pre-birthday this year is just <laughs> there and it's not that i'm obviously not going to be grateful for everything i get and that's that's that the disappointing part like everyone might think that you're ungrateful or you just really don't give a shit about what people give you but it's not that like if you're having mental health struggles on your birthday there is nothing worse <laughs> i mean obviously there is but it's horrible because obviously people expect you to be really happy and really excited and if you can't show that it's like you're letting everyone down not even just yourself but i'm really struggling and i don't want people to think oh she's not grateful because that's not how it is it's not overly exciting me but i don't want that to ruin the day for other people i just i wish i had more excitement and more like to it you know <laughs> or like people are looking down and you're going you've got this coming honey which i know i have a lot coming a lot of responsibilities coming but you know it's just it is what it is like you had that once babe <laughs> don't put me down for it but i have my boyfriend staying over tomorrow so that's a positive and my mum's ordered me a cake so i have a fat pink gin cake chocolate cake and I don't know what else. There's one present for me downstairs. I don't know what else there's gonna be for me downstairs. Maybe some money from people, honestly. I don't have a Scooby. <laughs> I'm more stressed out about homework than my birthday right now. About to head out now. It's like half five. I don't really know what's happening because I think, I don't know when it starts. I'm get, I think it's half seven. I don't know. It's half five, but I need to get the bus down there. And this bus is so temperamental. It comes just whenever it wants to. So I think I need to go get the bus soon. Because I can just go down and get a McDonald's. I'll just get a McFlurry. This is my last ever day being 70. That is mental. And I'm going to go put my Christmas pyjamas on and get tucked into bed as the last evening of being 17 and i've got a lot planned for 18 there's a lot that's gonna go on it's gonna be an interesting phase of my life let's just say that then i think 18 is gonna be becoming my own person fully everything yeah so this is me saying goodbye to 17 <laughs> traumatizing honestly i think i'm decorating the tree tomorrow i want to get pissed up tomorrow i do have school tomorrow though so that's something i have four lessons so i finish at 120 start at nine honestly could not be a sicker day apart from the fact that i have an assessment but we're just going to ignore the fact that that's there so yeah i'm in a bit of a better headspace mentally now that i've gone out and just had time out with people my mouth is fucking dehydrated to the max so
Pepsi Max. <laughs> I'll see you when I am an adult. Well, I mean, technically I'm not till half 12 in the afternoon, but that doesn't count. We're not gonna count that as when I turn 18. Obviously tomorrow is my celebration day of being 18. Ah, it feels so bizarre to say that. I wanna get a Chinese tomorrow. I so wanna get myself a Chinese. Oh my God. I think I've still got some makeup on. It's fucking 18, mate. <laughs> I need to do my hair and makeup and just look like I'm slaying today. I am 18. Ew, that's fucking disgusting. And I don't know if I can accept that. I feel like I'm just contemplating my life. Because I'm like, I'm 18. What the fuck? Already got to go to school today. I'm at a bomb, but. <laughs> I've had so many birthday wishes already. It's so cute. But yeah, feeling a little bit more positive than yesterday about it. But yeah, it's just, it's a weird feeling. It's really bizarre. So to celebrate my birthday, I brought this little one in my room. Not that she really cares too much, but she just likes being in here, don't you? Ah! Being fucking attacked by a one year old, but it's fine. So I'm going down soon, but I just, I want time with this little one, my favourite child. Yeah, look at her curls. Like, can you just see that? That's mental. <sighs> so cute. Thank you everyone that's wished me happy birthday if you're watching this, because I love it. It's so cute. I love that everyone's like wishing me happy birthday. It's really nice. I've just got obliterated by Teddy. <gasps> Teddy! <laughs> Teddy, my boyfriend got me. He got me the Zara jacket, and oh my god, I'm fangirling over this jacket. If you didn't know, this is like the Molly May staple Zara jacket that it is. But I will, yeah. So 18's okay so far. I feel like now it's actually my birthday. I'm feeling a little bit better mentally. So yeah, I love you all, and I hope you enjoyed me turning 18. Technically, I don't turn 18 until half 12 today, but. No one really cares about the times. And thank you all for supporting me. Thank you for watching.